cavities. What do they look like? How do we fix them? And why you definitely don't wanna make this mistake. Welcome to the Dental Drive. I hope you had an awesome day. And today we're gonna to go back to the basics. Hey Dexter, say hello. Or ignore me, whatever. He's just chilling back there. But today we're gonna to go back to the basics. We're gonna talk about tooth decay. So if you have a cavity or you're like, hey, I never get cavities, this one's for just about everybody. So it's everybody that I just mentioned, which I think is everybody. I think I just said everybody a lot. Anyways, so moving forward with tooth decay, let's talk about it. So if you're like not in pain and you're like, I, my, I'm fine, my teeth don't hurt, I'm good, I don't have any cavities, that is, uh, couldn't be further from the truth as far as determining if you have a cavity. And I'm gonna use an example today that hopefully makes that clear. So you'll be like, hey, I definitely wanna go to my dentist regularly and get a checkup, and here's why. This x-ray, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen, it um, is, is showing us a cavity. And if we look at the top of this tooth, and I outlined it there in blue, you'll look at that and go, man, that looks like a nice, basic, clean tooth. There's no cavity there. And, but you look at the x-ray and there's a little bit of decay um, to a, you know, a trained eye and with the proper technology, we use digital x-rays, it helps us really see that detail. So going to a dentist that has maybe more updated x-ray technology is gonna be useful for you. Um, but we saw this cavity, wanted to go ahead and treat it to avoid it from getting any bigger. You can see here now, I'm just, basically removed the top portion of that little bit of enamel over the cavity. And you can see there the dark brown and the chalky white. The chalky white is the enamel that is demineralized and that darker brown underneath is where the cavity finally gets into our dentin. The dentin is the softer portion of the tooth underneath our enamel and it starts to spread kind of rapidly. And we definitely don't want that to occur because it can get fairly quickly to our nerve. If you look here, I'm using some dye to try to determine if the cavity is still present because not all cavities are easy to determine just by looking. So we use a special dye that sticks to the cavity. You can see there, there's a little bit left. I go in and I remove that little bit that's there. And then we also use um, some special, now, now we've got the cavity out of there, right? So the cavity's gone. We, we went fairly deep there at that one spot and, and uh, we now need to fill this tooth uh, with a composite filling and want to make it look like a natural tooth again. So we go back with a special matrix band, which is like that, you can kind of see that metal band that wraps around the tooth. And there's a yellow wedge you can see there and those black clamps. That device and system allows us to actually make that shape of the tooth back to its original nicely curved shape. So it gives us a much more aesthetic, pretty, um, flossable, cleansable. I don't even think flossable is a word. I just made that up, but we're going to go with it. Uh, so that way you can really keep the tooth, tooth healthy. And so we use that system. You can see us after we place the filling there and the, the filling has that nice curved shape, just like a natural tooth. And uh, now we can go before and look at like what the tooth looked like before, during the cavity removal, the hole being there after we remove the cavity, and then I'll finally, again, what it looks like when we've finished the filling. So, so this filling material, you can see me filling the tooth right now with this technology that is called Sonic Fill. It actually vibrates and flows in the filling material like water, even though it's more like a dense Play-Doh type material. So it, then we use a blue light. There you'll see us curing the resin in place before the filling is completely done. So that's kind of the process of placing that filling. Thought you might want to see that. And uh, hopefully this was useful. I mean, I wanted you to see this x-ray at the end uh, and see how close that filling was to the nerve. And the takeaway, and the reason I said you definitely don't want to make this mistake at the beginning is that if you don't have tooth pain, that doesn't mean you don't have a cavity that might be really close to causing you a ton of money and a ton of trouble. This patient here was tenths of a millimeter away from going from a $150 filling to a $2,500 root canal buildup and crown. And you know, because of our x-ray technology and a, and a good quality filling, we're able to 
save her a lot of trouble. And the fact that she went to us and did this prior to any sorts of pain it is, is wisdom and obviously saved her from having to spend a lot of extra money. So if this video can help one person out there go, man, I need to go see a dentist. I've been putting it off. I get it. Life's busy. Things happen. You have kids, you have school, um, you know, it works busy. There's all sorts of reasons why um, everything else is kind of pulling at you and taking your attention. But this video, I hopefully it created it to give you some encouragement that, hey, if you go sooner than later, you might save yourself a ton of trouble. And if you go to a dentist that has amazing technology and, and, and ways to fix these problems while they're hopefully smaller or before they turn into a, a real big issue, you're gonna be in good shape. So if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Smash that like button if you could. If you don't mind subscribing, if you haven't already, that'd be awesome. Share it with a friend that maybe's like, you're like, dude, you got a cavity, I can tell. Maybe you could just sense it. And uh, tomorrow, I don't know what we'll talk about. Maybe somebody can post a question below in this video, and maybe I'll just talk about that question. I've got some other ideas, but you know, blow me away. Give me some ideas. And uh, until then, you guys have an awesome evening. Uh, you keep smiling, it looks good on you.